Welcome to my learning talk about the Prisma Admin React component. My name is Ahmed Eliwa. I live in Egypt and I am a Polystack developer. Here is what we will cover. Why do we need this component? We already have Prisma Studio. The content of the package, the requirement of the component, some examples and use cases. Let's start. So, why do we need this component when we have Prisma Studio? There are two main differences. First, we can ship it to our client in an admin panel. Second, we can customize every feature in it, like you can customize the style of the components and add or head actions like create, update, and delete. The component also has some feature not in Prisma Studio. It's possible to use the Quire Editor for some fields like the Post Body field. It comes with a great and intuitive UI with four themes. When you select a model, it displays the fields of the related tables. We can perform cascading deletions using Prisma Tools Delete. Now, let's see what is this package contain. The first part is Gener the generator it contains three functions first the build setting schema this convert to convert your schema.prisma file to schema.json file this file becomes the, the source of those for the tables present in your database second the page generator this generates a page file like every model in our schema third the, the GraphQL generator. This generates some GraphQL queries and mutation that you will use in your applications. The second part is the React components. First, the Prisma table component. This component builds dynamics tables with create, update, and delete actions. Second, the setting component. This component allows you to customize the table you your this component allow you to customize the tables you your liking without having to edit any code now let's discuss the requirement of the component first we must put this co react component inside inside a bolo provider so it can send queries and mutation to our back end we also need to put a to put it inside an OAH or UI layout component for the styling to work probably. Second, in our back end, we must have this list of the com list of the queries and mutations. The setting component require one query get get schema and two mutation update model and update fields to update this schema. Prisma table. Prisma table requires three queries and three mutations. All these queries and mutation can be auto-generated using the Prisma Tools Nexus package. Here is the docs today. This here is an example importing admin Nexus settings from Prisma Tools Nexus, and we export it to be in schema five. Now we back. Let's finish with some example. Here is an online version of the tools you for you for you to try without having to install it. Let's try it together. Here is our settings component. You can switch between models from here, and you can change display name in table and form is from here you can select the, how this model will display in a related table from here you can allow or disallow these actions here is we we have we don't have add button when we activate it so now we have add button and we can add we can edit and when we edit we can connect or disconnect to this relations by here and save and here how the group 
model is displaying in this related table. We have here password as unread. If I make it as a read, it will display here. And I can rehead again. I can re reorder by drag and drop. And like you see, name first, email. And we, when we edit name first, then email. If I back it, it's email and name. And edit, it's email and name. And when we add, also reorder, email first and then name. You can connect you. It's very easy and very nice to customize your tables with UI component. Thank you all. Goodbye.